Cheerio, Allo, Bonjour. So uh, I will tell you this video I'm going to comment on right now. I have again, I have not watched even 12, I have not watched two seconds of it. We will thank our girlfriend Fallon Brown. Okay, Fallon, F-A-L-L-O-N. Not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, but oh my goodness. What a great name. Fallon, I'll assume you are much younger than I am. But when I was a little girl and, you know, my f folks had an RV and we would drive all around the country. And we'd go into the stores and I could never find a pencil or a toothbrush with my name on it. Whereas my cousin Nicole could find her name on everything. And it used to really annoy me. And I always wanted a different name until I became a, wo a grown woman. And I was like, hey, Meredith is a pretty cool name. Uh, Cheryl Visconti, you've sent me many things. Thank you. But you and Chrissy Brown are sending me screenshots. Okay, well, I, I can't. I guess I could comment on them. But you kids, send me videos. I'm not on Facebook. I'd spent, shoot, I don't know, 30 minutes just trying to find videos from Shannon that no one else had covered. And I can't find it, but again, I'm not on Facebook because I do not want Mark Zuckerberg in my world. Okay, here we go, kids. In this live stream, Shannon belabors, oh, I love the word, a point, as she often does. Hold on, hold on. I didn't, I was talking about belabors. And it's this time that Chris is cheating at a game. Oh my goodness. Cheating is also slang for when a spouse has an extramarital intimate relationship, which Chris did. But it's unlikely Shannon's jokes are connected to that. Well, amen. So hopefully we will be spared these kinds of comments. Now, amen. Ha ha, you see, she knew he would cheat. Yeah, okay. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I'm go So Chris only had, let's see if this works right. It did work. Chris, I believe, only had two real girlfriends before he met Shannon. And does Chris come across as a cheater at all? No, not even a little. You know, I'm different. I... Well, I can't say I, but uh, I, I wouldn't tolerate that. You guys remember Aaron Hernandez. He was an NF, NFL player. He played for the Patriots, and he murdered a few people, ended up killing himself. But when they were speaking to his partner, she was his girlfriend, but they had been together 10 years. And they asked her about if it bothered her that Aaron cheated I believe she said, it's just part of the deal. Okay, well, not in my world. I don't care how rich you are. If you put your dick someplace else, I'm done with you. Okay, regardless, we all know Shannon's normal interactual style, specifically demeaning to Chris, and in all keeping with what I see as a very strong personality dysfunction, making her, yes, she absolutely was very demeaning to Chris. Okay. In this live stream, Shannon gushes over her viewers, viewers, I apologize, while joke berating Chris nonstop. Yeah, she'll call him a sore loser four times and eight times a cheater. Yes, you do not do this to your partner. Actually, you do not do this to your partner if you respect your partner. But he was simply a paycheck for this woman. You guys, I talk all the time about how $300 a month, $300 a month. Well, they were both enrolled. So it was actually $600 a month. And it was working for him, not so much for her. Okay. Come on now. I have to fill all this time. Is it checkers? It is checkers. So we're playing checkers. I just got done doing a three-way call. I love being able to work. Um, and work and, um, <laughs> you idiot. Um, and hail. I love being able to scam that's what she should be saying. checkers 
He's not very happy about it. He's not very no. happy about it. He doesn't want to be on he, uh, film. He looks at it and says, you hmm, went? what just happened? So. Right. No. He doesn't want his entire life live streamed the way you do it. Decisions. You sicko. Right, Chris? Uh, I was going to say something very nasty, but I won't. Yeah. I mean, Chris... Okay, let's see how she... Chris is just a great Sorry, husband. Guys, so the camera. He tolerates all of this. What should I move, you guys? He's willing to allow her to destroy the family financially, but I don't believe Chris was very bright. He may have had a high IQ, but I have a cousin who is part of Mensa, and we would open the door, and the rain would be pouring, and she would say, do you think we need an umbrella? So you can be very intellectually intelligent and have zero common sense. I think Chris is proving that here. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Keith. No doubt. Hey. Dude, you just set yourself up to be jumping Are you again. super excited? This. What a bitch. Um, so you don't do this no to your partner. No one likes sore losers, partner. Christopher. You are a no sore, loser. sore loser. I'm sorry for yelling. He you are says, a I'm sore loser. Anyway. That's a sore loser. Hey, Sharon. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I do these videos and my heart races afterwards. Tell me one more time why I do not expect her mother to call her, but why her father didn't pick up the phone or shoot, fly to Colorado and say, sweetheart, you have issues. Okay, here's the definition of a sore loser. Let me get this little one out of here. A person who becomes very upset or angry when they lose a game. Okay, he's not being a sore loser, you wench. Oh my goodness. A sore loser, one who complains or blames others for their loss. One who is easily angered Cheers, by dude. losing a game. Right. Are you just wanting to get jumped? She's such a snot. I mean, I'm super excited. But, oh my goodness. Oh, hey, Danielle. What did you just... What did you do? She probably doesn't even know how to play chess. Look at my live feed. Okay, Shannon, sweetheart, why don't you put your phone down and actually just pay attention to your husband and what's going on around you? Basic rule in checkers is you can't skip a square. That's what I just said that. So either Chris was told to do this for drama or he's... I'm going to guess Chris knows what he's doing. Yes, no one's this ignorant. Doubtful he was cheating on purpose. No, she needed content. How many did you jump to? But you jumped two. You can't, you can't jump oh four legs. Oh my goodness. Put the stinking phone right. down. I can't no, you imagine. Can't. You can't move from here to there. I, I wouldn't live with a person. All right, guys, who lived I think like he's this. cheating. Nick, help me out here. He just Something is wrong with Nick there that he was so into all of this. And I'm sorry. I will tell you guys, I believe Chris was arrested Tuesday evening. On Thursday, Nick and Amanda sat in a park bench and did an interview. And they were just so horrified because Chris slept across the hall from their five-year-old child. Uh, um, okay. Well, Monday evening, when you all left his home at 10 p.m., whatever the time it is out there, 10 p.m. Colorado time, before you got home, you called police and said, I think something's wrong. We sense something. And now three days later, you're just, I, I, I don't have a lot of respect for Nick and Amanda. But again, they were scammed if they were both signed up into spending $600 a month on this snake oil. Absolutely ridiculous. Jump four spots. When you jump, you, you can go back and forth, but you still got to jump Shut over up. people. How did he not? I can't you believe can, we waited eight years. But I, only jumping it's one very spot. crass. If I there cannot was two believe you waited you eight two stinking years little... for this. Yeah. Right. I think you need to YouTube that because you're wrong, dude. Put no. my man back. 
But let's okay, start this back again for the sly feed. You why guys tell are you me posting what, if I'm wrong this? Or if he's wrong. So no doubt. There's Chris's king. I say this every time. How much time do we have left? And oh, only three minutes. He's trying to like, literally just take his king and jump over two spots to take my man. <laughs> Keith said you cheated. It's not chess. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Keith is in a lot of these videos. What is wrong with you, Keith? Maybe go to church and find a wife. I mean, you don't want to go to a bar or... I've never been on any dating sites, so I have no idea what those are like. But Keith, you need a hobby different than Shannon. Because oh. you're creepy. Creepy yes, AF. Like, I, I'm, I am uh, very competitive. Nick. So, but I don't like cheaters either. What are you either. doing? Nick. Yeah, I agree. Nick and Amanda were both very well educated. Why are they falling for this crap? Okay, Shannon says, yeah, I agree. He's wrong. He's always wrong. I'm going to guess that Chris doesn't really like the bed sheets tied to the kitchen table chairs, but he doesn't really have a say in that. Now he's wrong. You can go back Fuck. and forth as a king, but you can't jump two blank spots. <laughs> That's cheating. Well, I'm teaching you the right way. You know what, Shannon? You can't jump two blank spots, but you can pay your mortgage on time, and you can pay your $52 homeowners association on time and your direct tv and your electric bill and you can allow your nails to look a little crappy my last video i showed how lousy my nails look but hey my mortgage is paid teach our kids the right way dude yeah, you, thanks guys you're not teaching we gotta teach our kids the right way dude. Uh, i'm gonna vomit thanks guys vomit yeah no doubt doctor what's up it's just a it, it was just, what's that called? An emoji rolling his eyes. Now let's take a moment to see how cheating is defined. Okay. Cheating generally describes various actions designed to subvert rules in order to obtain hey, unfair you, advantages. Okay, now move. Leave him alone. Does she really think he violated the rules and on, purpose, on purpose and is seriously scolding him? No. No. I do not. I believe this woman got an erection for humiliating her husband in front of other people. And yes, I said it. And it was probably rock hard. She has blue I think balls. I have a sore loser on my hands here. Goodness. Chris is being a sore loser. See, why would you do this to your husband? She's a sore winner, one who gloats over a victory. Oh, I guess Shannon's being okay, a sore winner. She's just trash. Yeah, maybe a little, mm. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Shall I say it a third time? Tell me again why her father didn't pick up the phone and say, Darling, you're an asshole. I got you. Hey, April. Hey. You can king yourself. Hey is for horses, <laughs> wench. I have it's... all you guys on because I want to make sure Chris doesn't continue trying to cheat. Right. All 147 people. Right, Chris? 147 people who had nothing better to do than watch this woman abuse her husband online. They're watching you, dude. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Taylor. Hey, April. Hey. I'm playing checkers with my cheating husband. Are you super excited? Right. He is right, a cheater. Chris? Yeah. He is a cheater. No, I was just making up the rules as I went along, the way she did. Chris, you're wearing blue shoes. He pleasantly denies he understood the rules, but she'll keep calling it cheating. Right. Because she's a tramp. Make up rules. Tramp. I don't mean tramp in a loose way, like Stormy Daniels. She's just a tramp. She could have looked up the rules on her phone beforehand and gone over them, Chris, but that would have made sense. Yes. Why? I would never post something that humiliates my partner. What is wrong with this woman? Well, she's gone now. Oh, and I hate saying that. She also never, ever expected to be called out. Except for I always win. <laughs> okay, we're not done. We have just about a minute left. This is what I've said all the time. It, 
Chris murdered her. Sorry, VG. The murders happened, whatever, what, August 12th or 14th. They had the letter from the mortgage company that said, August 28th, you are out. And they had received three previous letters with this information saying, if you don't get caught up, we're going to have to kick you out. Please pay your bill. We do not want to kick you out. We do not want to do this. And Shannon ignored it, continued to go to the salon. Look at this little stupid ass photo down there. Oh my goodness. I almost want to find that one. She knew that this was all happening and she chose to ignore it. Well, here's my question. What was she going to do August 29th? How was she going to sell that snake oil? A, who would, would co-sign on an apartment for them? Her parents apparently had almost worse credit than she did, which makes zero sense to me. But how are they going to live another place August 29th? They didn't have enough money to pay, you know, you can go find a landlord and say, look, here's my first month rent and my security deposit. Let's say it's 1500 Here's $3,000. My credit stinks, but trust me, and I will pay my rent. She didn't even have that. They didn't have enough to give a one-month rent payment. What were they going to do? The thing that kills me is this woman knew in May, in May, May. May is the fifth month of the year. August is the eighth. She knew in May that they needed to get their act together with their mortgage or they were going to lose everything. And what did she decide to do? She decided to go take a five-week vacation to build her business. It's, oh, I have so much empathy for the Watts family. I have empathy for the Ruzeks, but a lot less. The Ruzeks knew she had declared bankruptcy. The Watts didn't find out until after the murders. Her parents knew everything she was doing, yet they continued to enable her. Fudge, man, I just want this over. Sore winning, attributive form of sore winner, lose. One who gloats over victory. She gloats over all that. She gloats, the whipped cream thing. Win. She's laughing at it. All right, guys, I think I'm probably boring you guys. You are boring. If Chris tries to cheat again, I will definitely hop on here for you guys to fix it. Okay, you're going to hop on now that he's met N.A.? <laughs> yeah, that was snotty, but come on, man. Okay, it's over. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Colossians 3.12. If you would like to be a good woman and you're going to the Bible for advice, go be a Proverbs 31 woman. Look up Proverbs 31. Every single verse teaches you how to be a good wife. But remember, the Bible is very old-fashioned. They believe the man should take care of the family and the wife should take care of the home. And I also believe that, but okay. I apologize. My heart is racing. I'm stressed out. I get overwhelmed every time. Again, her parents saw all of this nonsense and never said one stinking word to her. Her parents suck. Oh, goodness. If you're still watching right now, I'm humbled. I'm shocked. Thank you. Please hit like, hit subscribe. If you'd like to throw me a few bucks, there's a buy me a coffee link below. I apologize. I'm so angry. I just get very, very, very frustrated. This woman is a sicko. Take care, kids.